The Inflation Reduction Act is going to put price controls in the biotech sector for the first time in U.S. history. Previously, this economy has rewarded innovation and science and prioritized allowing the new companies to flourish, to explore even failures, be able to come to market with new products and treatments and cures at a faster rate than any other country in the world. That is going to be something that is likely going to be impacted over the long term. In the near term, which in biotech is still a multi-decade process, it takes over 10 years to get a product to market through the FDA, you're talking about $300 billion in estimated losses. And that is generally considered a conservative estimate. There's some numbers that are much higher. That's going to be a very real impact. There's no sector of the economy that you can say you have $300 billion in losses and not feel those impacts. I think we're going to see it in the larger companies as they make their decisions about their pipelines. We'll see it in the smaller companies as they try to raise money and go through the venture capital firms and go to private investors and try to keep their companies afloat. And I would be remiss if I didn't emphasize the impacts on the orphan and rare drug space. Those drugs usually have very small populations. The Inflation Reduction Act changes the incentive structure around some of them, and it's just going to make those much, much harder to invest and finish the clinical research to bring those to market.